Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. You'll see there the US 30 has uh, tried to grind up a little bit higher towards that all time high, um, which is close to 17,153. We're currently at 17,118, uh, whereas the SP actually broke another fresh all time high yesterday as, uh, as earnings season continues in earnest. Um, Apple came out with their results yesterday, beating some. Um, analyst expectations in some categories but not all so iPhone sales still doing well in China dropping in a lot of their other um, core developed markets and the iPad slowly drifting down as well so a lot of uh, thoughts on their IBM partnership and what they're going to do with the iPad in the future and that helped to support the Nasdaq and the S&P yesterday so looking at the UK 100 um, we've actually had a bit of a, a jump past uh, potential resistance at 6774 we actually had a really strong day yesterday only to get pushed right back down towards the end of the session below this level but we're going great guns this morning and the Germany 30 in particular is, uh, is on its way to, uh, to 9,000 uh, 800 by the looks of things. So it's having a very strong start to the morning, as well as most European bourses as well. Um, we are approaching the 55 period SMA on the FTSE 100. Technical indicators are not yet uh, overbought, so they're just kind of basically going through the neutral territory. So there is room for the uh, equity markets to continue uh, to move forward. Japan 225 has not really been feeling too much love the last couple of sessions. Um, though dollar yen has reversed course again, so we have seen some yen buying. You can see Euro Yen and Dollar Yen for examples of that. Uh, whereas Gold and Crude West Texas, we'll be coming back to that in a second, they're not doing a huge amount either. We are trading above the 21 period SMA on Japan 225. Um, potential resistance still remains 15,488. So moving on to that Dollar Yen position, uh, still in this slow perpetual downtrend, uh, still making a pattern of lower highs. 101 spot 35 is the potential support. Um, looks to be strategic for the last couple of sessions. Uh, we might be capped at 21 period SMA. So um, keep an eye on 101 spot 35 on that FX pair. So moving on to West Texas crude, um, it is certainly becoming volatile as it moves up between um, 105 and 103. Um, quite a strong reversal overnight there. Uh, and we are very close to that potential support at 103 there again. This is the level to watch. And uh, we do have crude oil inventories today due around about 3.30 UK time. So that might act as a catalyst to either bounce off 103 or to break down below it. So gold has been struggling in the face of that stronger USD. Um, and we are now getting quite close to 12.95. Um, we're trading below the 21 period SMA, um, where the technicals are, are still are still quite neutral. So um, 12.95 is the uh, quite close to the 55 period SMA as well. Um, and the way that we've been seeing this kind of develop over the last couple of days, uh, gold does seem pressured in the short term. Um, even in the backdrop of escalating violence in Gaza and um, obviously more fighting in the Ukrainian border. Okay. And moving on to Euro dollar, and this has pretty much been the focus of most FX traders the last couple of sessions. Um, well, the Euro specifically, Euro dollar is where a lot of action has been. Real strong session there overnight, so a little bit of movement, which is always good. We broke through one spot 3500 and uh, we are now pretty much banging on one spot uh, 3455. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting about this is a break and close below this could open up a move uh, a lot lower towards 133. Um, so if you're looking for something, um, you should keep your eye on Euro dollar. And, uh, but we've not broken that level as of yet. Uh, and keep your eye on the any fundamentals that are due out. And I, I can see there's um, consumer uh, confidence indicators due out today at 3 um, p.m. UK time. We do the Bank of England minutes at 9.30 UK time. That could be interesting for GBP USD. Um, but there's not much else beyond the crude elementary figures today at 3.30 to get excited about. So if we then have a look at a GBP USD, um, one spot 70.48 is the potential support. And we've got a slow grind to their uh, over the last couple of sessions, we've bounced off it uh, on Friday, bounced off it again there today. The question is if we're going to bounce off it again for a third session. Any break and close below one spot is 7048. And I should say that cable has been particularly resilient over the last couple of sessions. So considering this is at multi-year highs uh, and the movements we've seen against some other FX pairs, uh, cable's actually looking not, not so bad. Uh, so um, one spot 7048 is a potential support. If we do break and close below that, uh, one spot 70 is the next level. Um, but we are having a little bit of a, a rebound this morning, ever so slightly. So economic data-wise, we've already covered what's coming out today. Let's fast forward on to tomorrow, where we've got Chinese PMI overnight. That should be good to look at. Retail sales in the UK and jobless claims in the US. 
And if we just finish up the week there on the 25th, we've got more UK GDP figures. Basically, cable could actually be um, worth a look throughout the next couple of sessions as well, especially if support continues to hold because there is a number of UK uh, Mac releases, which could be a catalyst for the next move further forward. Well, keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.